What's going on guys, Eric Ellis Jr. here, back at it again with another fire as video. Eric Ellis Jr. with ericellisjr.com. In this video, we're simply gonna be covering 10 websites that you can earn money online from in 2018. And um, down below, you can actually get access to the best method that I would highly recommend when it comes to making money online, right? But I'm going to go ahead and give you guys another 10. Um, and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell because I drop valuable content on the daily teaching entrepreneurs like yourself or up and coming entrepreneurs how to succeed in life, and business, and online. So let's get started, guys, right? So we're going to go ahead and hop behind the um, computer screen and get right into it. So the first website is called Upwork. Now, basically, Upwork is simply a website where um, you can become a freelancer and what a freelancer is is basically if you have any type of skill set like writing blogging social media marketing and there's something that you're really good at right what would be the ultimate like dream right if you're good at something you can get paid doing it you can actually do that with upwork.com to where just to kind of give you guys some of the things um, there's web development there's mobile development there's design there's writing there's admin support there's customer service However, when somebody's searching, they could simply type in uh, find freelancers and let's just say you're a beast at Instagram and you, you just love Instagram, you're obsessed with it, right? What I can do is Instagram, Instagram management, maybe. And what's gonna happen is, there's gonna be multiple people, look, Instagram, $50, $50 an hour this person charged for Instagram. 99% success, over $10,000 earned. Um, another person, $18 an hour. Another person, Facebook and Instagram advertising expert, $85 an hour, right? So the thing is, guys, you guys can literally probably make more than you're making per hour, right? Just by leveraging something that you're really good at by leveraging this website. Now, not only um, me personally, I actually haven't used Upwork to make money. I've actually hired freelancers like Facebook advertisers, content creators to actually do work for me. So I've single-handedly put my own money in the pocket of some of these freelancers, right? So you can create a free account, right? Whatever your skill set is, post a job. And when people are posting jobs, you can also actually apply for those positions so that way you guys can pick up work here and there, literally work from your laptop or work from anywhere in the world, right? So that's number one is Upwork.com. Number two is called clickbank.com. Now, I have actually made money from this website. What Clickbank is is simply called an affiliate network. Affiliate network is something short for a network of affiliate marketing offers. What affiliate marketing is, is simply when you refer something and when you refer it, you get paid a commission. Now, that's the simplistic model, but Right, what happens is if you look at all these categories right here, e-business, e-marketing, the main three niches are health, wealth, and love, or relationships rather, right? So I would highly recommend if you guys are gonna do ClickBank to pick one of those three, right? But what happens is you guys can literally find one of these offers, and then um, what's gonna happen is these, these companies, right? Um, if I was to press, let's just say, e-business and e-marketing, all these offers are literally gonna go ahead and come up of things that you guys can promote, right? And then you guys can actually join this, join ClickBank for free, right? You're just gonna have to ask, answer a series of questions. Then you simply click, find an offer that you wanna promote. You press promote, and once you press promote, it's simply gonna go ahead and give you a unique affiliate link. The visitors that you get to that link, whether you do blogs, YouTube videos, or find other creative ways to get people to that actual link, each time a sale is generated with your unique affiliate link, you will actually get paid a commission. And there's people who make a full-time income. I personally do affiliate marketing. I make a full-time income, right? Again, stated below, the, the link down below, if you grab access to that link right there, it'll actually show you guys methods and how you guys can actually do affiliate marketing. That's what I do full-time, and you guys can actually access that by clicking the link below, right? That's the best method that I believe, um, and you guys actually get a free ebook um, but you can leverage things like Clickbank to actually do affiliate marketing, right? So this, the third 
website that you guys um, can use to make money online in, in 2018. It's called Fiverr, right? Fiverr is kind of kind of like Upwork.com, but where it defers is that you literally can bring on freelancers for one-off jobs. Upwork is more so of kind of like continuous jobs. And as a freelancer on Fiverr, what you can do is literally join it. An example, let's just say you're an amazing at graphic design. You can literally go ahead and create graphic designs for people and you can set a price, right? Just kind of give you guys an example, logo. Like let's just say you learned logo creation. If you wanted to create logos for people with Fiverr, Right, there's people who are charging $25 per logo, and then there's always like upsells. This person's charging $560 per logo, they must be really good. This person's charging $150 per logo. They have, oh, guys, let's do the math really quick. This person literally has over a thousand jobs done, they're rated five star, $150 per logo times a thousand. That's literally $150,000 just by being a freelancer on Fiverr. Right, they set a price. They had a skill set, they went on Fiverr, they solicited jobs, you really don't have to because the better you are, the higher you rank, the more um, positive feedback you get, you're gonna kinda rank very high, and then more people are gonna go and request your work, right? But just to show you uh, Photoshop editing, business cards, um, there's digital marketing, so again, um, there's one-off jobs that you guys can do. It's asking me to log in, I already have an account, but digital marketing, like content marketing, video marketing, video editing, me personally, I use these, I don't do my thumbnails for my YouTube. I don't edit most of my videos for YouTube, right? I use people from these platforms and I literally pay them, right? In exchange for their service, I pay them and they give me that service, right? So an example, guys, there's a whole bunch of services I'll highly look into looking at these websites and figuring out which one, one which skill set would be best for you so that way you can start becoming a freelancer. And even if you did this on the side of your job, eventually you start picking up enough work because you're talented and you can completely walk away from your nine to five, right? Another one, number four, it's called Flippa. Flippa is simply a, um, where you can buy websites and you're flipping websites, right? So an example is, let's just say you build up this website and it's generating a certain amount of money per month, let's just say $500 per month in affiliate commissions or something of that nature, and you're generating $500 per month, but, right, you don't feel like managing it anymore, you don't feel like working with it anymore, you might go to Flip and try to sell this website, right? However, here's what's pretty cool, guys. An example is you guys can actually buy a website that's already making money. Now let's see, um, sportsconnection.co. <sighs> that makes no sense. So look at this right here, guys. Sports Connection right now, the site is two years old. Now, I would do a little bit more due diligence, but here's just an example of what you guys can do. Right now, $33,000 profit, net profit per month. Like, I might buy this. If this is real and this is legit, I might buy this. $33,000 per month, and they're only selling this website for $2,000. Now, you'd be an idiot not to buy something for $2,000. It's going to make you $38,000 per month. Now, obviously, you want to do your due diligence. Make sure that you're investing in something. Ask for the income proof. Do your due diligence. But what you're doing is essentially buying a business. So a website, you're not just buying a domain name. You're literally buying a business, something that somebody's built, worked on, developed. They don't feel like doing it anymore, right? People get tired of stuff and they're selling it. But you go buy an asset that can pay you passive income forever, right? So that's number four is flip. But if you have a little extra uh, money side, and you might not have 2,000 if you notice there's a website going for a dollar. There's a website going for $350. There's one going for $69. So it's all depending on what your budget is, right? So website number five is called Shutterstock.com. Now what Shutterstock is, is simply um, images, right, uh, video files and, um, and music files, right? You simply can actually upload these, right? And if you notice here, it says discover over 206 million royalty-free images, right? Now an example, if I tried to create something on my YouTube and actually use a video, right, or, or a, um, let's just say I tried to use a, a music behind my YouTube video, right? And I, my, YouTube video gets flagged for copyright and music, right? I'm not gonna be able to monetize my video, so what I'm gonna do is purchase um, music 
that is literally non-copyright, right? Royalty free. So what's gonna happen is you can actually upload your own content, right? If you're a photographer, you take pictures. If you're a videographer and you're, you take videos, if you make music, if you're a producer, you can literally upload these to Shutterstock. Now this is a great way to literally learn, uh, make money long-term passive income because every time somebody makes a purchase, right? I'll purchase a music video that I can use on my YouTube channel so that way I don't get flagged because I purchased this, I purchased the rights to this, right? Every time somebody purchases a piece of your content, right, you're gonna get paid royalties, right? So every time somebody purchases this, forever and forever, every time somebody purchases a picture, a video, or something of that nature that you created, you're gonna get paid forever, right? So that's number five, it's called Shutterstock Photos. If you guys are already creating this type of content, right, why not get paid doing it? You might take pictures for fun for Instagram and you haven't even monetized it or anything of that nature. Here's just one way to, uh, uh, how do you say, um, monetize that content, right? Now, number six, um, the number six website that you guys can use to make money online in 2018 is called Kindle Publishing, right? So, Amazon Kindle Publishing. What this is is simply, me personally, I have an ebook, right? And I'm actually going to put it up on here, right? But what you guys can do is literally create ebooks, right? If there's, again, this comes around a skill set. There's some sort of knowledge or skill set that you've acquired. It can literally even be like potato making or potato gun making or dog hunting or some crazy ass thing. If you can have a skill set and you create some sort of book, right? What you can do is you can actually publish this on Kindle. What Kindle is is simply a somewhere where you can actually purchase ebooks, right? Meaning if I want to go ahead and learn about affiliate marketing, right? And that's my book. It's called Affiliates Playbook. You can go to affiliatesplaybook.com, shameless plug, right? But if you wanted to learn about affiliate marketing and I wanted to go ahead and learn about that, right? I'm going to search for a book. And let's just say I was to publish my book, Affiliates Playbook, right? What's going to happen is they're going to go ahead and look for it. They're looking for that type of information anyway. They go ahead and make a purchase and I'm going to get paid, right? They're gonna go ahead and take a piece of the pie and then they're gonna go ahead and pay me the rest of the money. Now this is another way that you can generate passive income. Now I'm not saying you guys are gonna get freaking rich, be able to buy yachts, fancy nice cars, anything of that nature, but this is just an extra income, right? To where if you spend literally a couple days of your time, your free time and you write a book about something that you're passionate about and you can get paid Right, promoting something like this using Kindle Publishing, right? They're gonna do all the promoting for you. People are gonna look for this. They stumble across it every time. There's a purchase made. You're gonna get paid, right? It's amazing. Now, one of these next ones is actually one of my favorites. It's called Text Broker. Now, I'm not the best of writers, but some people are. You might be an excellent writer. What this is is a whole bunch of writing jobs, right? Blog content, article writing whole bunch of things and there's a whole bunch of people like Yoast, Staples, eBay, Auto. A lot of these people do not write themselves, right? CEOs, me, I outsource stuff. CEOs outsource stuff. So what they do is they outsource stuff to blog article writers, content writers. What you can do is simply use Text Broker and if you notice, if you go to uh, iRock Content, you go to Payment, how do you get paid? How do you get compensated? You might ask, right? If you look here, number one, um, is you get paid based off of your rating. So if you're a crappy writer, you're only gonna get paid less than one cent, 0.7 cents. If you're an okay writer, average, you're gonna get paid one cent per word. If you're pretty good, right, you're gonna get paid 1.4 cents, right? Now here's where it's a little bit tricky, right? Um, if you are getting like five stars, and you're just freaking amazing, you're gonna get paid five cents. That's how you make the most money, right? But if you get bumped down, it literally goes from 5 cents to 1.4 cents. So you want to make sure if you do this, you write really good content for these people. You guys get paid 5 cents per word. Now let's do the math really quick, guys. 10 words, 50 cents. 100 words, $5. 1,000 words, $50. People write 1,000 words a day, right? That's $50 a day, but you could do that from home, right? Are you following me here, right? And there's other methods that you guys can do right that you guys literally can speak audio into these actual word um you can speak audio and actually have it right written right transcripted so there's little hacks and stuff but that's another one text broker 
Another one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number eight is Amazon Handmade. You can simply go to Google and go to Amazon Handmade. What Amazon Handmade is simply if you have handmade stuff, you can push it on Amazon, right? Now, why Amazon? There's a whole bunch of other places that you guys can actually um, push handmade stuff on, right? You can either create your own like Shopify store, you can push it um, on other websites, but why Amazon uh, over everything else is because Amazon simply has buyers on deck. And what do I mean by that? Me personally, if I was logging my Amazon ca card, because I'm a buyer, frequent Amazon shopper, if I want to make a purchase, my card's already on file. And if I want to make a purchase, if I say, you know what, as soon as I come to Amazon, I'm ready to buy, right? I'm looking to purchase a new pair of shoes, right? I'm going, I'm going to add them to my cart, I'm going to check out, and I don't have to pull out my credit card because they already have the card stored on file. So that being said, when people come across your handmade items, they're already looking for it, right? They're already buyers. So you don't have to solicit them, you don't have to sell them, they're ready to freaking buy. So when they come across your handmade items that you've created, right, you create an account, right, start putting your stuff on your store, in your Amazon store, in your items. When people start to buy, if you look at the categories, jewelry, home, kitchen, wedding, right, this would be great for jewelry or something of that nature, right? If you make handmade jewelry, right, put it on here because people are ready to freaking buy as soon as they come across it. Click, they add it to the cart, boom, press buy, boom, bought. They don't need to pull out their credit card. So you're a step ahead of the game, right? So if you make handmade stuff, this is definitely a great website for you. Now, number nine, right? Number nine is Pinterest. Now, what is Pinterest? Pinterest is a search engine, right? Um, they might, it's not letting me log in right now, but basically, let me see, Pinterest. So Pinterest is simply, oh, here we go. So Pinterest, guys, is basically where you guys can literally, certain boards, Right, if you want to search for something, um, something specific, you guys can create content. And I have a Pinterest account. It's not allowing me to go on right now, but I have a Pinterest account. If you look here, there's Mother's Day pins, there's Father's Day pins. But what it is is you guys can simply start building content, right, that people are searching for within a specific niche. But it's not the actual pins that make you money. It actually allows you to link things to a website, right? But if you don't have a website, as stated before, like I was talking about the ClickBank products and affiliate marketing and promoting other products, you can simply create a niche-based board with your Pinterest account. And what you're gonna start doing is literally driving that traffic to a website, which could be an affiliate link. So an example, going back to ClickBank, if I was to go ahead and do health and fitness, right, I can literally create a Pinterest account start building a following around uh, health and fitness and actually it l allows you to link a website. I'm gonna literally link my website to my affiliate offers so that way I can start generating a commission, right? So Pinterest is freaking so powerful and I mean, I actually use it myself. I wish I can go to login right now, but for time's sake, I'm not going to. You can actually find me on Pinterest, at Eric Ellis Jr. and see one of my boards and see how I actually they leverage this to generate income as well with affiliate marketing, right? And last but not least, the best for last. What I'm doing right now is YouTube. Now this video right here is a traffic source and what I do is YouTube content marketing right now with my small account. With my small account. Um, to, within the last month, I've made $5,000 with one of my affiliate marketing offers and a majority of my income comes because of YouTube traffic, right? Now just to show you guys an example, Right? People think, oh, well, I don't have a large um, following on YouTube. Guys, you don't have to have a large following on YouTube. You just need to know how to create the right content, right? One video one month ago has 46,000 views. It was a five minute video. Now, I only have 5,000 subscribers. So with that being said, obviously 46,000 views, I have more views than subscribers. So it's not just because I have 5,000 subscribers. You guys can create videos focus on keyword research and basically targeting people who have a specific problem that they're trying to solve and 
that problem that they're trying to solve, after you give them some content or some value, then you can actually promote what you're offering, leveraging YouTube traffic to promote other affiliate marketing offers. So YouTube is my by far my favorite to make money and there's people like these freaking famous YouTubers who leverage their YouTube account, they build a following, they build a huge freaking massive brand and they literally sell merchandise, they promote affiliate offers, like it's limitless guys. So I'd highly recommend starting a YouTube channel yesterday and start creating content around a niche or something that you're passionate about, start driving traffic. And even if you're not driving traffic, just start building the following so that way when you're ready to promote something, you have these raving fans that you can actually promote stuff to. So with that being said, guys, that is 10 websites that you can make money online in 2018. Um, and as stated before, guys, um, if you watch to the end of this video, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys access to a bonus, right? There's an ebook below. It's called Affiliates Playbook. I mentioned it a couple of times. At, you're gonna, number one, you're going to go ahead and get access to that free book. But number two, you're going to go ahead and get access to the same opportunity that I'm promoting using YouTube and other sources of traffic to actually generate a full-time income online so i travel the world full-time i'm currently in bali indonesia i make a boatload of money thousands of dollars per week i have thousand dollar days all the freaking time right just because i learned this skill set so grab access it is the best making money on the line but it trumps all all ten of those right down below the first link that you guys get access to will be the best income earning opportunity for you guys now if you guys enjoy this please go ahead and give me guys a thumbs up right also if you guys enjoy this subscribe join the family let me help you win in life and hit the notifications bell because i drop content every day and you'll be the first to be notified now any questions comments concerns any other um things that you know that might help you guys out or help other people out comment down below don't spam with your link, just talk about other options. And if you have any recommendations of other content that you guys want me to create or things that you want me to teach, comment down below. I appreciate you guys so freaking much. As always, I will see you tomorrow in Eric Ellis Jr. checking out.